Hey guys, it's Shara from Woodshop Diaries. Did you catch my recent laundry room refresh post or video? If you didn't, you don't want to miss it. It's a pretty big before and after for such a tiny little nook. Head over and check it out first and I'll be waiting for you when you get back. Before we get started, I would like to say a huge thanks to today's video sponsor, the Home Depot and Pure Bond Hardwood Plywood. During the process of renovating this tiny laundry space, storage was a key issue that I set out to improve. In the original space, I had good intentions of adding more storage, but all I ended up doing was making a little cabinet with flimsy, hard to open doors. And yes, that was a design flaw that was 100% my fault. I'm aware. But for the time, it functioned okay and it did give us a place to put our laundry detergent. So I left it be with good intentions of returning to fix it. It only took a year, but I finally got back around to working on this space and my first task was to fix this boring, hard to open cabinet. My second task was to add some more storage and my third task was to improve my laundry hamper cart, which is actually this bar cart that I made from a few years ago. I was able to check all three off my list and I'm excited to show you how I added some much needed storage and function to my little laundry nook by building this sliding door cabinet, adding a second cabinet and converting my bar cart into a laundry hamper cart. Keep watching to see how I did it. First, let me share with you my cabinet building secret. I build a lot of cabinets and I always use Purebond plywood for them. Puron makes excellent quality plywood right here in the USA and Canada. It's formaldehyde free and it's available at most Home Depot stores. Good cabinets start with good plywood. So for the cabinet bodies in these cabinets in this video, I used three quarter inch Purebond birch plywood and then I used two by four panels of three quarter inch pure bond hickory plywood for the doors so that they would match what I used on my kitchen cabinets here. Since I already had good bones with my existing cabinet, I decided to just take it down, take it apart, modify it for thicker doors, which would be less flimsy and easier to slide back and forth, and then just put the cabinet back together. I've got the measurements and all of the pieces and plans to build this cabinet in my blog post that is linked in the description below. So if you want more details on the specific measurements and dimensions of this cabinet, be sure to head to the link in the description below. Once I had all the pieces of the cabinet taken apart, I used my rigid half inch router and this Diablo half inch straight bit to cut out the slot for the doors. Since I already had a quarter inch slot in the top and bottom pieces of the cabinet for the previous quarter inch plywood doors, I lined up a straight edge so that my half inch bit would run right along next to that slot and make sure that it cut the same depth to make a three quarter inch total slot. So once I had my slot cut, I test fit a piece of three quarter inch plywood scrap just to make sure that it fit. I wanted a good tight fit, but also loose enough to easily slide back and forth. Then I measured the length behind the slot to the back of the cabinet and trimmed my two middle pieces down to that width. Then I cut two three quarter inch plywood doors that would fit inside of this cabinet the same size as my previous quarter inch plywood doors and it was time to put it all together. So I assembled this cabinet with one and a quarter inch wood screws. The screws will be hidden and this was just quick but you could also assemble with dowels or pocket holes if you wanted. I screwed the two divider panels between the top and the bottom pieces and then screwed on one side of the cabinet. I attached a couple of scrap pieces of three quarter inch plywood onto the back at the top in order to hang it onto the wall. I found that it was easier to hang the cabinet without the doors. So at this point, I went ahead and screwed the cabinet to the wall using two and a half inch wood screws through the back pieces into the studs. By the way, I did paint the front side of this cabinet before I hung it on the wall.
I also gave the three quarter inch plywood doors a good coat of this pretty little pink paint and I slid the doors in place and attached the other side of the cabinet. Oh, and I did install also after the paint some handles onto the door. It would be a lot easier to install the handles prior to installing the doors onto the cabinet, so just an FYI. And just like that, task one was complete. So I moved on to task two, which was adding additional storage. In addition to the sliding door cabinet, I wanted to fill this empty space to the left with something useful to store my overflow of random things. We live in a tiny garage apartment, so anywhere I can stuff random seasonal decor, craft supplies, bedding, etc., is a huge asset. So I built a very, very simple cabinet to fit this space and assembled it with three quarter inch pure bond plywood and pocket holes and screws. You can see more details on building cabinets in my kitchen cabinet build video, but I built this one 16 inches deep just to give me some more room to store deeper items. I've also got the plans with the dimensions and everything that you need in the blog post linked below. So if you want more details on the specifics of this cabinet, be sure to check out that link. I added adjustable shelves with my Craig shelf pin jig and installed this hickory plywood door with concealed inset hinges. This laundry space is adjacent to my kitchen in our home and we use this Pure Bond hickory plywood for my kitchen cabinet doors and I wanted this space to tie into that aesthetic. I feel funny using these big words, but I love this plywood and it is so easy to simply cut it to size and install it as a door. But if you aren't a huge fan of hickory, which I don't know how you couldn't be, it's my favorite. Pure Bond also has other options besides just hickory, and I will link below in the description for you to check all of those out. Making a few simple cabinets like this for any little nook or wall space around your house is so easy and such a quick way to add some extra storage. Simply cover it up with a specialty plywood door and you have yourself a quote unquote designer cabinet. I don't know how you can get any better than that. So now that task number two is complete, we moved on to task number three, which is adding a laundry hamper. In my old space, I stuck a laundry basket in my old bar cart and it fit nicely in this little gap between the washer and the wall. It looked cluttered, but it functioned fine, so I never bothered to do anything with it. But once I hung the hickory plywood door on the upper cabinet, I knew that this looked too nice to leave all this junk exposed. But I didn't want to get rid of the bar cart because it was the perfect size for everything I needed and it fit this space well. I just needed to cover up the chaos. So I took another piece of Pure Bond Hickory plywood, trimmed it down to size, and used some L brackets to simply attach it to the front side of the bar cart, and then added a matching handle. This worked perfectly because if I ever want to actually use the bar cart for an actual bar cart again, I can simply remove these brackets and never even know that they were there since the screw holes are on the bottom sides of the boards. And that completed task number three. My work here is done. I seriously love this new laundry space. Would I love a bigger room? Heck yeah. But am I making the best of a small one that I have? Heck yeah. And I know I'm not alone with my tiny laundry nook. Many people have a small laundry space. Tiny laundry room owners unite. <laughs> and if that's you, I hope that this post has given you some ideas on how to improve it and make the most of your storage space. Be sure to check out the link below for the dimensions for the cabinets and all of the details on this project and be sure to check out Pure Bond's specialty plywood options. So I hope you found some inspiration in this video and I hope that you've enjoyed watching. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all of the cool stuff that's coming up next. So thanks so much for watching and until next time friends, happy building.